Now, as we have been reporting here on France 24, Europe is facing its worst gas supply crisis ever this winter linked to the war in Ukraine. Prices are soaring and major economies like Germany are considering rationing when the cold weather hits. The bleak picture was compounded yesterday by the confirmation from Gazprom that it won't turn on the Nord Stream 1 pipeline any time soon. Well, there is an option being floated by Ukraine that it could supply some gas to European countries to help make up for that shortfall coming from Russia. How realistic is that idea? Let's ask our Ukraine correspondent now, Gulliver Krag. Gulliver, thanks for joining us. What more can you tell us about these Ukrainian proposals? Well, first of all, the proposal concerning gas from Ukraine, I think, is more about gas storage. They say that they've got... Um, basically 15 um, billion cubic metres worth of gas storage uh, that they've got available that they don't need and that they are inviting European countries to make use of. Then in terms of helping with actually providing energy, it's rather in terms of providing electricity once that electricity has already been generated in Ukraine, whether that's by gas, coal, nuclear or uh, hydroelectric. Ukraine has long been a net exporter of electricity. That means it generates significantly more electricity than it uses. And Ukraine's energy ministry told me today that even with the Zaporizhia nuclear power Power plant, which provided 20% of the electricity generated in Ukraine, no longer working, the country still has significant surplus capacity. Now, that's in part because the war has led to a very significant economic decline in Ukraine, which means that the country is actually using much less electricity than it did last year. 30% less, the Prime Minister said, but that was um, a few months ago, so I'm not sure exactly how much it is, and they don't want to give precise statistics at the moment about the level of capacity they've got the level of usage. But what they're calling on the European Union to do is increase the power, um, increase the capacity of the export lines going into the European Union, which the Energy Ministry told me are only working at the moment at 300 megawatts. And Ukraine says it has the power to export up to 1.7 um, a thousand uh, megawatts. So that's uh, significantly more. And actually, the Prime Minister said it might even go up to 2,000, but the Energy Ministry was a little bit more conservative, 1.7. Gulliver Craig for us there in Ukraine. Thanks very much indeed for your explanation.